Triple antithrombotic therapy is the standard of care for patients with atrial fibrillation undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention, or PCI, with stenting. Oral anticoagulation and dual antiplatelet therapy with a P2Y12 inhibitor plus aspirin are used to prevent thromboembolic events, including stroke, systemic emboli, and stent thromboses, but they are associated with a high risk of major bleeding. A potential therapeutic strategy to reduce thromboembolic events and bleeding risk is dual therapy with the oral direct thrombin inhibitor dibigatran and a P2Y12 inhibitor without aspirin. In the multicenter randomized redual PCI trial, 2,725 patients with nonvalvular atrial fibrillation who had undergone PCI with stent implantation within the previous 120 hours were randomized to receive either triple therapy with warfarin, a P2Y12 inhibitor, either clopidogrel or ticagrelor, and aspirin for one to three months, or dual therapy with dibigatran, 110 or 150 milligrams twice daily, and a P2Y12 inhibitor. The primary endpoint was timed to first major or clinically relevant non-major bleeding within 14 months. The rate of major or clinically relevant non-major bleeding was 15.4% in patients receiving 110 mg dibigatran dual therapy, as compared with 26.9% in patients receiving warfarin triple therapy. Similarly, the rate of major or clinically relevant non-major bleeding was significantly lower in patients receiving 150 mg dibigatran dual therapy than in those receiving warfarin triple therapy. In the secondary endpoints, there was no significant difference in the rate of thromboembolic events or death between patients receiving 110 or 150 mg dibigatran dual therapy and those receiving warfarin triple therapy. The authors conclude that in patients with atrial fibrillation after PCI, dual therapy dibigatran and a P2Y12 inhibitor significantly reduced the risk of bleeding as compared with warfarin triple therapy with no increase in thrombotic complications. Full trial results are available at anyjm.org.